This is Soapbox Radio. Potting it out there. Potting it out there with my lime boots. The Lifestyle Edit. Hey guys, it's Ryan. It's a Thursday afternoon. It's four o'clock and we're back in the studio on Soapbox Radio here at 27 Boxes in Melville. Um, welcome to Soapbox Radio today and man, do I have a show for you. One that will push my personal boundaries and which, to be honest, makes me slightly, or no, I'm actually lying, not slightly, it makes me very uncomfortable. But hey, only good things can come from such things. Before we get into the show, some feedback on last week's show. You will recall that I spoke to Anastasia Tuero about her initiative to get sanitary products to young girls in Zimbabwe, thereby keeping them in school. I have committed to helping Anastasia and her partner Stanford with this initiative, and I will be speaking to a major corporate tomorrow to see how they, how they can get involved. However, the manufacturers and retailers have been very slow to respond or show any sort of interest, which makes me rather sad, but I certainly have not given up. If, you're keen, if you are keen to support me in supporting Anastasia and Stanford, please check out the pin posts on my Twitter and Facebook accounts and let's share the bejeebas out of them. Let's bring some social pressure to bear. Back to today's show. Let's push those boundaries we spoke about and get into the show. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go! So Samantha Dube is a Joburg-based finances, fitness, sorry, and uh, lifestyle blogger who publishes on her platform Dumbbells and Delights. Here she shares tips and insights into a more rounded and healthy lifestyle, flowing from her belief that everyone can achieve ultimate health. Sam sees her blog as, an, as a platform to educate, inspire, and bring hope to her readers. I met Sam in December last year and was taken by her sense of purpose and belief in her brand and knew that she was just someone that I had to have on the show. With intros done, let's jump into today's show um, and the discussion and meet the drill sergeant herself this afternoon. <laughs> Welcome, Sam. Thank you, Ryan, for having me. Great to have you. Thank you so much. Um, tell me, Sam, have I, summed, have I summed Sam up correctly? Yes, pretty much. And I am in finance as well. Yeah, I, I don't know. We've had the conversation just <laughs> yeah. now. So it's like information overload in my brain. I think I'm stressing about the exercises you're going to expect me to do today. So, you know, my bad there. Sorry. <laughs> don't worry, Ryan. It's going to be fun. Great. So you're a really, really well, well-rounded well young lady. Well, I try. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So tell me, Sam, has fitness and healthy living always been an integral part of your daily life? Um, Pretty much. I was on the athletics team in primary school. I actually got um, Female Athlete of the Year. Sure. In, okay, it was a long time ago. Yeah. But um, <laughs> um, yeah, it has been. And then it's just kind of overtaken my life in okay. a much bigger way. Yeah, so yeah. I'm doing that quite more often than before. Yeah. Okay. Um, tell me, Sam, how do you then transition from just enjoying exercise to writing about it as you do today? Well, initially the blog was about uh, setting goals, getting things done. And then as I started writing more and more, I found I found my passion, I found my niche, which is fitness. And I saw that there was a gap there. People like are afraid of getting better, afraid of going to the gym, afraid yeah. of doing things and because they think it's um, it's scary, it's hectic. And I wanted to show them that you can have fun and you don't have to pay a lot of money too. So would you, you use the term afraid? Are people really afraid to go to the gym? I know I am. Yeah, um, <laughs> there's a thing called gym, uh, gym intimidation, or yeah, gym yeah. intimidation, really. Gym intimidation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something you have with the GNT. Um, <laughs> it could be. <laughs> the GNTs are keeping you away from the gym, that's why there's gym intimidation. Exactly, right. <laughs> Sorry, I'll let you talk now. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah um, you get to the gym, you don't know what to do. Yeah. You know, there's this big buff guy huffing and puffing on the side, and it... It looks like that's what you want to do, is yeah. in the way he looks. Yeah. But what he's doing is really terrifying, and mm. people don't like to ask. Yeah. So my blog comes now where I show you there's other ways where you can deal with your inse your insecurities in another way and still have fun yeah. and still get fit and achieve your ultimate health. Wonderful. That sounds like a plan. Um, guys, I want to hear from you today. Sam and I are giving away a Mont Blanc fragrance, uh, uh, a Mont Blanc emblem absolute. And all you need to do to, is to engage with us via either my Twitter account or on the Facebook live stream, which is up on my blog at the moment, my blog Facebook page, My Line Boots. Um, send your most creative suggestion for an exercise for me to do, um, and I'll do it live on the air in the next 40 minutes. Um, we want a couple of those coming through. At the end of the show, Sam will judge the most creative suggestion 
um, sent through and that person will then be the winner of our fragrance uh, get sending and watch what I get up to on the live stream on Facebook um, Sam you say that you want to make health and fitness simple and fun please tell me how you achieve this because I certainly don't um, like exercise at all okay so how I discovered it was um, through running everybody's like running is easy running is fun I'm sorry I don't like running oh, good. I hate it yeah <laughs> um, but it's really like one of the cheapest workouts you can do yeah so I for a long time I struggled I'm going out in the morning I'm running and I don't I'd never got that run as high so I went back to the drawing board and I said to myself I want to get fit but what can I do yeah and then um, last year there's a post I wrote uh, on my blog called five extreme but fun workouts to do I love so it. I tried things like pole fitness up sailing pole fitness really yes. is that Sexy like what the dancers do oh okay yes <laughs> it, it is um yeah and crossfit as well i tried that as okay. well yes. and that was so much fun so when i went on this journey looking for those fun things to do i saw yeah. you can still get fit without having to do the things you hate yeah, yeah. you know okay. and it's been a wonderful journey i've got some more awesome exercises that are going to come up in this year okay great yeah. so it, it is possible to do this um um, it is possible to do this and have fun, eh? It is, it is. Okay. Prasantha says, we've got our first challenge here, make Ryan do a sit-up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say a sit-up because I think that's the extent of which I can do. So that'll be our first challenge. Okay, let's okay. see Ryan let's doing see, a sit-up. <laughs> <laughs> this should be fun, guys. Oh, you ready? Oh, done. <laughs> That's okay, about we, we, need, you we get. need something. We need something more <laughs> challenging, maybe, because um, Ryan just cheated. I didn't cheat. I did a really well-rounded form <laughs> setup, um, but we can uh, deal with uh, <laughs> deal with that later. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's me doing a setup. How cool is that? Anyway, uh, thank you very much for that one. Um, okay, is that the creativity that you're looking for, Sam? I need in, something in request, else. You need something, need something else. else. Eh? Okay, all right. Because setups are can be hectic let's try something fun again i just point out i'm not a gym bunny so sit-ups are like pushing the boundaries of what i probably can and can't do maybe a yoga pose a Anybody? yoga pose oh my word is that gym is yoga gym yoga is yoga gym. is gym right? okay <laughs> sam tell me about your 101 goals 101 goals in a thousand and one days let's talk about that so that is um the core of my blog that's how it started okay um my life was kind of in a mess at the time and I needed direction. So I found this uh, website, Day Zero Project. Okay. And it was 101 goals in 1,001 days. I've done it twice and no, I never made it. Yeah. You know, I never did the 101 okay. goals. Yeah. But it gave me order. It gave me a sense of purpose. And through that, I've become somewhat obsessive in my planning. Okay. Um, but that's how I ended up getting to talk about fitness. Okay. It now was more guided and uh, channeling my energy towards something that really benefited me yeah. and others okay great um janice has just come to us my friend jan on um on twitter i'm not going to say exactly what she's asked us to do when we come back from the break we're going to have a look at this you're going to need a demonstrator to me first and then we are going to do what she says we're not going to do 30 we're going to do one jingle <laughs> this is soapbox radio potting it out there potting it out there with my lime boots the Lifestyle Edit. Share your thoughts and be part of the show now. Send a message on Twitter or Facebook at MyLimeBoots. Find My Lime Boots on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. At My Lime Boots and on you, 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 YouTube. At my line boots live. Okay, so my, my darling friend Janice, um, you guys, I think you will remember Jan, she's been on the show about three times. My best friend Janice um, has come to us on Twitter, and I just must just point out here that Janice is a massive CrossFit person. She throws tractor tires over for fun in her spare time. Um, so she's come and asked us to do burpees. So um, I don't know what that, I know the word, I wouldn't know what that means. So I'm going to ask Sam to demonstrate a burpee for us, and then I'll try and do that. Okay. Okay. Um, before tell I us what that, you are. Tell us what you're going to be doing because I'm I getting nervous. Say, uh, I will do the beginner one okay. for, for Ryan to take it easy. But I just <laughs> don't say, pity me, woman. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Janice, because I love burpees. Oh my word! Um, I think you're all ganging up against me. <laughs> let's try this and see what Ryan can do. Okay, I want to watch and see. Will you do it so I can see? You? Okay, we'll do it that way. Burpees, here we come. Okay, I'll watch. 
So we're gonna do beginner one for Ryan. Oh, that's easy. I can do three of those. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do? Down and up, down and back. Yes. Okay. So down, back. Yes. That was easy, Janice. I expected more from you than that. Come now, really. <laughs> what? How was my form on that burpee, um, Sam? That form was definitely better than the squats in the intro video. <laughs> <laughs> it was very early this morning that I shot that video, so um, yeah, let's just chalk it up to experience, eh? <laughs> we'll okay. get you to do more later. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm really starting to break out on a sweat, yeah. Um, <laughs> not a good sign, eh, Sam? <laughs> okay, Sam, talk to me about some of the features on your blog. What, what do you get up to on the blog? I write um, interview series, which is which is the most read series on my blog, mm -hmm. where I interview other people who are doing uh, the same thing in fitness, yeah. but um, in different areas. So wellness bloggers, personal trainers, runners. I love runners, even though I hate runners. You don't like runners. <laughs> I, featured, I featured a lot of runners on my That's blog. That's not strange at all, Sam. <laughs> Runners are friendly people, so okay, okay. it's it's quite awesome. And then yeah. the other thing I do is uh, reviews of also different exercises or books or movies yeah. um, that I find inspiring and I think other people would be interested in as well. Okay. So wh what in your words constitutes a healthy lifestyle? Um, simply put, for me, healthy lifestyle is living in balance. So your work, your food your relationships with your friends and your family mm -hmm. getting that in balance now it doesn't mean you're going to be in balance every day yeah I like that <laughs> it doesn't mean you're going to be in balance every day yeah but where you're doing that uh consistently mm. living your life in a way that gives you purpose and you're happy you know we gotta be happy these days it's quite stressful mm. out there mm. and just finding the time to do all those things okay so when you talk about balance you're talking about working within boundaries having time for exercise having time for proper proper sleep I would imagine yes that's what yes. you're talking about by, absolutely by, by love sleep. <laughs> I'm with you on that one I think we agree on that one I do that one very well my form was quite good on that so well we can't have you sleeping <laughs> on the show though I'll gladly do a half an hour show and show you how I sleep <laughs> okay so Margaret has come to us on Twitter and says make Ryan do squats so Margaret thank you for that I like you because it's not a burpee let's do squats yes and please widen your stance widen oh my word does that make it harder how much should I do five? He's gonna do five for us, guys. Okay, we're gonna do it. Must I put my arms up? Two. Five. Three, <laughs> four. Five. Done. Thank you, Margaret. Something I'm actually really good at squatting. Um, no, I just did it. I think my <laughs> got critique on the form there, Sam. Uh, definitely better. <laughs> better. Uh, yes. Not not quite. See, on. you're already improving and. Was that fun? Speak long, I need to catch my breath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it was fun for you, so I think I've achieved my purpose already. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So tell me, Sam, where does someone like me, who's not really keen on exercise, where, do, where, do, where would I start if I wanted to? Um, start small. That's that's always okay. the best, best thing, to yeah. start small. Okay. So maybe get yourself moving more, so you don't actually need to sign up immediately for the gym. Mm -hmm. Okay. Figure out, okay, so what do I want to do? Yeah. Do I want to be bulky? Do I want to lose weight? Do I want to get into a uh, bodybuilding competition? Mm -hmm. So start there. Then you start taking the steps. Educate yourself, okay? If I eat lots of carbs, what will happen? If I eat protein, what will happen? Yeah. If I work out, because really exercise is a small part of it. Okay, there's the other things that you need to be doing. Are you sleeping or are you drinking water? Yes. Hello. Oh, water. There we go. Um, you always have to have your water with you. So you start small and then find out what you love. For me, walking, and you'll be surprised by the health benefits of walking, yeah. which is why I do the hikes uh, regularly. Yeah. But we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, tell me, um, we talk about where do I start. So if I just want to get healthy, if I just, I don't want to become a big gym bunny. I just want to have a healthier lifestyle. Would walking around the block be a good place? Maybe buy a bicycle and ride around the block every evening. Would something like that be a good idea? Yes, that's definitely perfect. And if you do it outside, even better. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You know, the stationary bikes are the worst. One thing I actually do enjoy from a gym point of view is spinning. That I can do, and I can do it pretty well. 
We should have brought a spinning bike with us today, because then I would have, I probably would have knocked your socks off on the spinning bike. You probably could, <laughs> since, well, I think I've done like two spinning classes, so oh, really? I'm, I'm, I'm not good on uh, that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, tell me, Sam, what is your advice for maintaining a healthy lifestyle amidst this crazy pace? I mean, it's one thing to say, yes, we need to make time for the gym an hour and a half and whatnot, but I know some days in my life, Man, I hit the ground running from half past five when I get up. There is no hour and a half. Or well, if I took an hour and a half, it's just an hour and a half less I've got to squeeze everything into. Well, Ryan, How do I get that right, Sam? That's where you get it wrong. It's <laughs> not It's not really about the amount of time you put in. It's about yeah. the intensity of the workout. Yeah. And don't tell me you don't have time. There's a seven-minute app. Seven minutes? Yeah. So, yes, you can okay. work out in seven minutes. Those 30 babies, yeah. um, Janice, we need to get Brian to do them. They <laughs> Stop would be giving enough. Janice ideas now. <laughs> <laughs> they would be enough. Okay. Yeah. So you can you can work out in seven minutes. You so, can get a full decent workout and get going. So what sort of um what sort of um exercises would be on the seven minute app? I mean push ups and bur this dreadful burpee thing. Yes. Oh my word, no, I'm um, not going anywhere near And it. other things, uh kettlebell swings, dumbbell um stuff, you know, dumbbells yes. and delights. You know yeah, I like there that. we go, we got it. Um but that's just one thing. Yeah. Okay. The other thing you could do is again walking. Yeah. Running if you like it. You know, there's mm -mm. people who like running. I've got very bad shin splints. Dancing. I can't run. Dancing. You know, funny enough, my friend Joji and I were speaking about that. We wanted to do it this year. That our exercise is get together and go to dancing lessons. Now, I actually enjoy dancing, so that would be a form of exercise, eh? Yes, absolutely. And for me, on days when I feel tired or lazy, because I normally do my workouts after work. Mm. Zumba is my go-to. Okay. Okay. Mm. Three, four songs, and I'm I'm ready to go. Sometimes I'll be like, no, I'm just gonna do this for a few minutes, mm. and then because I'm having so much fun, it mm. reaches up to an hour. Oh, really? So it has to be something that you love, something mm. that's fun for you. Mm. But it's a trial and error. Yeah. Try this. For me, we know running doesn't work. Yeah. Okay. Mm. But I found other things. I didn't just stop and be like, oh, can't I do hate this. Running. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Gary on uh, Facebook says, oh, are you planning on doing some star jumps? So I think star that's going to be next on the list. Very basic. So yes. Yes. That, yes. That's that's my type of exercise. Thank you, Gary, for that one. Okay. So Sam, will you demonstrate the star jump first, and then I'll do it after you. Okay. Okay. How let's can do I that. Make this intense for Ryan. <laughs> no, we don't want intense. <laughs> Sam's doing a star jump for us. We're gonna watch. She's trying to think of a hard way to do it. That's easy. We can do five of those. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm a bit too tall for this place, so I can do I, that's why my form is bad actually because the roof is too low. I can't extend my arms in the correct in the correct manner, Sam. We'll blame it on the roof. <laughs> You're not taking that as a as an answer, huh? <laughs> okay guys, when we come back we're gonna carry on chatting to Sam. Stay tuned and keep sending us your requests. You're tuned in to Soapbox Radio. To Soapbox Radio. Podding it out there with, with my line, line boots. boots. Share your thoughts and be part of the show now. Send a message on Twitter or Facebook at MyLineBoots. Find MyLineBoots on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. At MyLineBoots and on you, 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 YouTube. At MyLineBoots Live. Great, I'm chatting this afternoon, a bit of chatting, a bit of star jumps, a bit of a burpee here and there this afternoon with Sam Dubé from Dumbbells and Delights. She's helping me reconsider exercise. Um, Sam, tell me, what is your take on CrossFit? Um, do you see there's a revolution taking people out of the gym and into more interesting forms of exercise? We spoke about it just now, but let's 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 dish this dish whatever on uh, CrossFit. Um, yeah, CrossFit is actually a great revolution. I did try it out last year and I definitely want to take it up again. I love, you know, well, they call it uh, the box, the community in which they they work out in mm. and everything from again kind of like runners yeah. they're, they're happy people well they're happy people even though they're doing intense things like flipping tires around yeah so it's definitely something you should try out maybe not today. really at entry level my maybe word not today <laughs> <laughs> um but um 
it's a great revolution it's one of those fun but extreme workouts really huh? the competition is great the community is great so you you're getting encouraged but yeah. you're also competing against people and every day there's uh there's different workouts that you do um they mm. call it uh wod workout of the day yeah and they set up different challenges mm. and the one day i did go <laughs> It was burpees. Oh my word! I I was in love with the instructor that day, and then <laughs> by the end of it, not so much. Not so much. Eh? <laughs> okay. So just one last thing on CrossFit. So if I'm going to start doing CrossFit this afternoon, do you think I should have some level of basic fitness first before I just rock about a CrossFit gym? Well, the thing is, uh, depending on the box that you go to, okay. they will give you an assessment and um, according to your Abilities. fitness level. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Sam, tell me about some of the interesting people you've interviewed on your blog um, and wh why these people, you do the series called the Interesting Peeps series. Tell me some of the people you've met and why they interested you, what, what, what floated your boat. Okay, I featured a lot of runners on the blog. <laughs> you've got this thing, um, you've got a strange running relationship. <laughs> <on him. laughs> I think because I don't like it, I, yeah. but I, I, I like the fact that other people like it. Um, the first person we had was Mark, he's, he's a personal trainer from the UK. He was doing uh, 50 miles in 50 states. Okay. Yeah, I know. He lives in the UK, but he mm. went and did this in the States. Yeah. And then the other person was um, Karalisa Shem okay. from karalicious.com. Okay. She's awesome. She's a yogi and she talks about healthy living, mm. balance. And our current uh, delightful people of the month, mm. Max Shuling, she's also a foodie. Okay. You should check out her Insta stories. They are awesome. Oh, really? She shares lots of information okay. on how to get fit. And again, like me, she's all about the fun. Yeah. Um, and, and not really being too strict with yourself when you're trying to achieve a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. And I think that's where we get it wrong. We, yeah. Yes, the nickname is Drill Sergeant, but <laughs> we we work too hard that it ends up being unpleasant. You know, too much work. Yeah. When it's supposed to be a part of who we are, we are built to move. Mm. Okay, so we need to move more and we mm. need to love it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Sam, you also offer a free fitness journal download on your blog. Um, tell me about that. Um, this uh, is a free resource on my blog where you can track your exercise. Okay. Uh, where you can track your fitness levels. So at the beginning of it, you're going to write your goals, what you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to track yourself. So say you're running, you're, you're going to track your times. Yeah. You are, um, there's also some motivational quotes to keep you going. Okay. Uh, you're tracking your body measurements mm. on there and it will just keep you consistent, mm. help you with achieving those goals. Because at the end of the line, you want to know where you're going and where you've come from. Mm -hmm. Say you want to lose weight. How much weight do you want to lose or how much weight mm. have you lost in mm. the process? Yeah, yeah. What else have you gained? Yeah. Maybe the scale is not moving, mm. but your body measurements are moving. Yes. So you get encouraged. So yeah. It's a mixture of, of all of that. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to really step out the box because I'm not going to suggest, and we've talked about pushing boundaries on today's show, um, a lady named Moira McAllister has come through on Facebook and said, how about doing windmills? Now, I don't have a clue what a windmill is. I don't know if I'm putting myself into something hectic here. Yeah? Find an easy windmill for me to do so we can keep Moira happy. I like Moira. <laughs> <laughs> is it worse than a burpee? Um, no, it's actually quite easy, oh, okay. but um, would be more intense if we had a dumbbell. Um, Thank unfortunately, goodness I we don't. Bring, I didn't bring one today. <laughs> okay. Windmills. Let's let. So so Sam's going to demonstrate windmill for me, and then I will. I don't know. Maybe five. Uh, I hope I remember. Okay. Yes, we need a dumbbell. Either in this hand or in that hand. Okay. Little up and down. Yeah. That's easy. Up and down I can do. You you all feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do five of them. <laughs> so I must go like this. A uh, pretend dumbbell here, eh? Yeah. So we go. Out. Okay. This one. Yeah. This one. Oh my word. Yeah. yeah, why? And then this hand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there's one. You're really going low, but yeah. <laughs> That's what she needs. When will done. <laughs> Well, Roy, you're going to have to let us know if that was correct, because um, I'm not sure if that was a windmill, but um, I'm taking it as a windmill. Um, comments on the form, Sam? 
I'm, I'm in doubt myself that I did the correct <laughs> thing, but I had fun doing it. <laughs> okay, great. Um, Sam, you also organize regular events. How, you spoke about hiking just now. Talk us through the reasoning for that. What do you guys get up to? Let's chat about that. Um, we call them the DD hike. Okay. I'm having one on the 3rd of Feb. And what we do is just go out in nature, walk, breathe in the fresh air. I mean, we live in the city. Sometimes we don't even get to see yeah. what, what nature is like. But these places are not too far out of town. Yeah. You know? um, and then, yeah, get get our fitness levels going. But we take it easy, nice and slow, okay. uh, the pace. And we stop, we take pictures, we breathe in the fresh air. Mm. And because... Um, because the uh, like the route is is out there, it's not really uh, a well maintained, yeah, you know, area. Okay. So we get to challenge ourselves. We we really work our quads okay. and, and our glutes as we're going up on the steep. So do you do stuff. like exercises as you walk on the path? No, no, we actually do you do don't, like but... lunge up the mountain like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at this time. Not... Maybe that's more okay. uh, intermediate yeah. stuff. <laughs> okay. But um. Because it's something we don't do every day, our yeah. bodies are still challenged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was looking on your Instagram and I saw the picture from your last outing. Yeah. And they were just girls. So are the boys allowed to come along too? Boys are allowed. There, there was one guy. Oh, was there? Okay. Yes. Was he taking the picture? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, Sam, tell us uh, what plans do you have for your blog and your brand? Where will Dumbbells and Delights be in three years from now? Um, definitely want to be producing more content. Um, Give out a few more resources. Mm -hmm. I'm working on an ebook. That's okay. a secret. Um, yeah. Okay. And getting out, getting my name out there. I wanna. Mm. I don't wanna be wearing this one. This is from a race. Uh, okay. So obviously, <laughs> uh, personal branding. Yeah. Sorting that out for the blog. Mm -hmm. And I'm still speaking to my brand consultant. Okay. So be yeah. on the lookout. Okay. Wonderful. That sounds like a lady with plans. That's what I first noticed about you that first day that we spoke because you were passionate about what you did and you, you spoke out about what you did and I have a lot of respect for that. Thank you so um, much, Ryan. Yeah. Great. Sorry, I'm just trying to see what is happening there. Okay. Is it, is it still... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's fine. If you're ever phoning me now, I'll phone you back just now. Um, okay, so that has pretty much brought us to the end of the show. Before we say goodbye to Sam, we need to choose someone who you think was the most creative with their requests. We did sawmills, saw windmills, whatever those windmills. things are called. We did um, push-ups or sit-ups or something. Sit-ups. Bur burpees. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. And I think we should give you the prize. Definitely. Moira McAllister, who came and spoke to us on Facebook. Well done to you. You are the winner of our fragrance. I'll be in touch with you probably tomorrow morning to organize delivery of um, of your special prize. Well done, Moira, and thank you for engaging. Thank you to everyone who engaged with us. Um, Sam, tell us, where can the listeners get hold of you if they want to find out more about uh, Dumbbells and Delights? Um, my blog is dumbbellsanddelights.com. Twitter, Dumbbells Delight. Uh, Instagram and Facebook dumbbells and delights. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Um, yeah. And that brings us to the end of a rather interesting show. Um, with my boundaries well and truly pushed. And Sam, I wish you everything of the best with your blog and your brand going forward. I wish you many happy burpees in your future, <laughs> and I hope you start running too. <laughs> um. Thank you so much, Ryan, for having us, and thank you, uh, people on Facebook for your. Yes. Your challenge is for Ryan. Very We're going to so. get him to do more later. Oh, no, not right now. I need to go just calm down. I'm probably going to be stiff tomorrow, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for engaging with us. Thank you for being part of the show. I hope you enjoyed that. It's always fun to have a little bit of fun together. Um, that was Soapbox Radio for today. Next week, we've got an interesting new concept we're going to pilot with you guys and look forward to sharing that with you. Um, that was Soapbox Radio for today, the 25th of January, and I'm out of it. You've been listening to Soapbox Radio. Potting it out there with my, 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 my lime boots. <laughs>